Hello friends, uh, most welcome to English Advantage and this video I will be explaining to you a uh, very very important confusing words that keep coming in different competitive exam like SBI Bank PO, SSC and SBI Clerk. So let us see these words and let us see how uh, these words can be used and how they can be useful for you. Just see this is the first set of words discomfort, discomfort and discomfort. Discomfort and discomfort. So let us see the meaning of this thing. Discomfort is to embarrass someone. And discomfort is a noun meaning uncomfortable. So discomfort means to make someone feel very awkward or to make someone feel very embarrassed. Okay. And discomfort is a noun. This it, it simply means uncomfortable. Just see here. Discomfort is a noun meaning physical or mental distress. It's rarely used as a verb anymore. It's not used as a verb. It is used only as a noun. Like all nouns, you can put a, n or the in front of it and it makes sense. In front of it means before it. Okay. So you can say discomforts or you can say a discomfort because it's, it's used as a noun. Just see this is the example here. Yoga can help alleviate some of the discomforts of pregnancy and keep mothers to be fit. To alleviate means to, to reduce. So this is the example sentence here. And uh, I hope you, you, you have understood this well. Discomfort and discomfort. Discomfort and discomfort. Discomfort means to embarrass. Discomfort means to embarrass people. And discomfort means uncomfortable. Okay. So let us see the next part. This is the next part and these are the most, uh, most confusing word. Censor uh, and censor. The pronunciation of both these two words is the same. But the meaning is different and the spelling is also different. Censor and censor. C-E-N-S-O-R and C-E-N-S-U-R-E. So this censor simply indicate to hide some, uh, to hide information to prevent information uh, from going in the market. So this sensor indicates simply to, to prohibit something. Okay. A sensor hides information. You must have heard about the sensor board that cut the inappropriate information or visuals. A sensor is harsh criticism. So this sensor, this sensor, S-U-R-E, this sensor indicate criticism and this sensor indi indicate to, to cut something. Okay. Just see here. This is the example. Just see here. Foul language, nudity and revolutionary ideas are often censored by the censor board. They are cut. They are, they are reduced. So censor can act as a verb or as a noun. Just see the example here. Iran routinely censors the internet using sophisticated filtering technology. Okay. So this is the censor. Censors. This is the exact word. Censors. This is appropriate use. Now just see here, this is the another example of censor, which means criticism or dis disapproval of something. Censor is a strong dislike. Just see here. This censor is a strong dislike. When you strongly disapprove of something, usually in an official capacity, you are censoring that something. Like when the student council censors your ideas to have a pool party in December. So this is the example and explanation. Just see here. This is the another example. They are tired of being censored or criticized. Dr. McKenna said. Okay. So censor and censor. One censor means simple, simply you must have heard about the censor board that prohibit uh, inappropriate things. Or censor means to disapprove something or to criticize something. So just, just see the spelling. Just focus on the spelling. And you can remember this thing. Now let us look at the next words, next set of words. Dual and dual. This dual simply means two or double. Uh, we normally say dual advantage or dual benefit. So this dual simply means that is something that is indicate two. And this will indicate a fight or you can say a contest. Just see here. If you are getting sick of your intimate friends, dual personality, perhaps you should throw down your gloves and challenge him to duel at high noon. If your uh, friend is turning out to be a uh, cheater or a bluff friend, you must give him a good fight. Just see here. 
लास्ट नाइट गेम्स हैड काइंड ऑफ ए ड्यूअल पर्पज ड्यूअल पर्पज मीन्स डबल पर्पज ओके जस्ट सी हेयर दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन दीज फॉर्मल कॉन्टेस्ट आर नो नो लॉन्गर प्रैक्टिस्ड सो ड्यूएल हैज ब्रोथ इन टू मीन एनी कॉन्टेस्ट बिटवीन टू पीपल टीम्स और इवन आइडियाज सो दिस ड्यूएल डी यू ई एल सिंपली मीन्स अ कॉन्टेस्ट और ए फाइट Just see here. This is the example. In early days, a properly regulated duel was an ordeal, showing the judgment of heaven. So, duel means double or two, and D U E L duel means to fight or to contest. Okay. So now let us move on to the next part. Alternate and alternative. Alternate and alternative. So alternate means to take turn, to go bun by bun. Okay. to take turn you must have you must have heard about the classes that are taken alternately okay or to take alternate classes okay to alternate is to take turns an alternative is an option alternative means a option or choice and to alternate means to take turn okay one after the other or you can say every other day when you wear your checkered shirt the black and white square alternate it means first black square appear then white square appears but if you are not feeling like an 80s guitar hero the green jacket is a nice alternative or an option or a or a choice to it so alternative simply means a choice or an option just see the expression here alternate can act as a noun verb or an adjective as a noun it is a substitute like the alternate who takes over for you in a game or in a jury so this alternate can be used as a substitute for the word substitute this alternate can be substituted okay uh, we normally say that do you have any alternate number this is how we say now let us look look part alternative alternative can be an adjective or a noun too as an adjective it describes something available as another choice including alternative lifestyle as a noun it means one of the two or more choices for example an alternative lifestyle so these two word are often uh, may, uh, confused and these two words are very important at the same time now let us look at the next part council and council okay this c indicate the noun this c like advice and this as indicate verb so this c council is a noun and this as council is a verb just see here a council is a meeting for discussion or advice but to council is a verb meaning to give advice you must have heard the word counseling counseling is carried out in colleges when the admissions are done just see here council is a group of people who get together to figure something out or a group chosen to give advice like a student council used as an adjective council describes things related to a council such as council candidate or a council room or a council member so this is a very good description you can go through here council it can act as a noun or a verb as a noun council is a synonym for advice yes but it can also mean the act of giving that advice or refer to a person who gives legal advice just see the sentence here do not go out in the storm tonight counseled his wife very meaningful sentence so i hope you must have understood the meaning of these words now let us move on to the next part this is also very important word elusive and elusive just see there is a difference of only e letter you can remember this thing now this elusive means difficult to catch hold of something difficult to catch anything that is difficult to catch that is known as elusive that eludes you okay and this elusive which has i in the beginning this uh, it indicate something that is elusive or illusion that is not real so this i you can link with the uh, i of imagination okay this is how you can remember this word elusive and elusive of e simply indicate something that exists something that you cannot catch something that you are unable to unable to catch so that means elusive okay 
एन इलूसिव फेरी इज वन यू कांट कैच बट एन इलूसिव वन वॉज नेवर रियली देयर एट ऑल सो इट वॉज जस्ट एन इलूजन और इट वॉज जस्ट एन योर इमेजिनेशन ओके सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल टू रिमेंबर एनी थिंग इलूसिव इज हार्ड टू गेट ए होल्ड ऑफ इट इलूट्स यू लव एंड स्मॉल रोडेंट्स आर अमंग थिंग पीपल फाइंड इलूसिव दे आर डिफिकल्ट टू कैच लाइक लाइक स्मॉल रेड्स और दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स जस्ट सी द एग्जाम्पल हेयर predicting extreme events any further than 10 days in advance has long been an elusive goal for meteorologist so this is a very important sentence in place of this we cannot use here elusive of that start with the i i double l u s i v we cannot use here otherwise this sentence will be considered wrong just see here something elusive on the other hand is not real it's imaginary even if it seems to be the word elusive is used mostly in literature where we find our favorite illusions yes it's mostly used in literature now let us move on to the next part extent and extent only one letter difference a and e so in this word indicates a range of something extent of something to a large extent we normally say to a large extent to some extent okay this is how we say and this extent uh, simply indicate something that is still existent just see here they sound similar and both have axes but extent means still here this extent means still here or existent and extent this extent refers to the range of something okay Ra range of something just see here extent is something that is still that is still around you are surprised it is not extinct okay it is more than just existing but also surviving when others have won't he wrote in letter an incorrect history of england england which is still existent extent and this extent means simply means the range of something extent can also refer to a degree of something such as goal achievement extent is also the space or something covers or takes up you might see the phrase to a lesser extent to a larger extent to some extent to a extent is tarah se in this way you can say this not as much or a greater extent and just see here one's tongue slips in a longer speech to such an extent that the last word of the intended speech is said too soon this is said by sigmund freud that is a very very uh, famous psychologist now let us move on to the next part empathy and sympathy now empathy is a heart breaking you experience other people's pain and joy and sympathy is easier because you just have to feel sorry for someone just see this sentence and just go through this sentence very carefully send a sympathy card if someone's puppy died feel empathy if your puppy died too it means empathy means when you feel the uh, when you have the same feeling like the other person because the same thing has happened to you and sympathy means a sense of pity or compassion okay so sympathy just see here sympathy sympathy is a feeling of pity or sense of compassion for somebody else because somebody else has has gone through a hard time or difficult time it's when you feel bad for someone else who is going through something hard or something bad has happened to him okay i have all i have always just see this example i have always thought of acting as more of an exercise in empathy because you have to feel the same thing as the character is feeling so that is why in this example the empathy has been compared with the uh, with the acting so acting you have to you have to uh, live the character in the same way just see here this has already proved effective at drawing attention and sympathy this is very good sentence now let us move on to the next part formally and formally formally and formally formally means earlier something related with the earlier time just see here formally is something that happened before like when a pop star changed his name to a squeegal he became known as the artist formerly known as prince but formally comes from formal 
okay so this former is at the root of formerly referring to something that occurred earlier or previously former prime minister okay this way you can say in hindi this is known as bhutpurv or ex just see here if you change your name you would be referred to as formerly known as whatever your name used to be if you want a word that means in the past or before formerly fits the bill okay formerly means something related with the past or something that happened in the past movie books television shows the journalistic outlet outlets formerly known as the newspaper podcast previously it was known as newspaper podcast formally describe something done according to an established custom like dressing formally for dinner with the president as people always have done the current council will formally disband within the next few days disband means it will be dissolved it will be closed down so formally and formally okay please do not exchange these word and do not interchange the, these word for the same meaning that will be wrong now let us see the last word of this video tutorial morbid and moribund this morbid indicates something distasteful or something very gruesome just see here morbid describes something gruesome something very very distasteful like smallpox or frankenstein's monster this is a kind of disease moribund refers to the act of dying or something that is that is dead or something that is dead just see here the morbid imagination means distasteful imagination a website about horror and the art if the first section of the newspaper you read is the obituary you could be considered morbid because you are talking about the death or the sad things okay obituary is an article uh, which has been written about the person who has recently died morbid is a word used to describe anyone who spend too much time thinking about death disease or horror or some kind of distasteful thing so morbid and moribund just see here something that is moribund is almost dead like a moribund economy that has been stuck in a recession for years that is a moribund economy just see here this heart was taken from a man who came into the hospital in a moribund condition in a moribund condition means in a dead condition so this is how these two word can be used i have taken only very very important word in this uh, video tutorial so you must watch this video tutorial from beginning till end and if you have time you should try to watch this video tutorial multiple time so you can grasp all the things all the basic things and you can apply so in various conditions now this is the here i want to give you a very good revision of these words so that you do not forget these words just see here you have to match this word with this word you have to write down the answer here just see here moribund moribund means dead okay moribund means dead so here you have to write one sympathy means uh sympathy means a feeling of pity okay so here you have to write Two. This is how you have to give the answer. Extend means this extend which has e. This extend means range of something. So here you have to write three. Now let us move on to the next part. Elusive, which indicates something, uh, something imaginative, imaginary, or you can say not real. So here you have to write four. Counsel, counsel means uh, advice. so here you have to write 5 now let us alternate means to take turn so here you have to write 6 alternative means alternative means option 7 so here you have to write 7 extent means exist so here you have to write 8 and elusive elusive means uh something difficult to catch so here you have to write here you have to write 9 this is the nine answer and duel means fight so here you have to write 
10 okay so this is how we can revise these things now let us move on to the next part this is also very very important sensor s u r e this sensor indicate criticism okay disapproval so here you have to write one this dual uh, indicate uh, double so here you have to write two this discomfit discomfit means to embarrass so here you have to write three council this c indicate meeting so here you have to write four and this council indicate advice so here you have to write five this is the answer breach means to break particularly a contract this word is very common in law field break breach so here you have to write six formal as per the customs so former uh, no sorry 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 formal uh, this formal yes 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 formal means as per the uh, custom so here you have to write formal seven and sensor means to hide information so here you have to write eight and uh, this moribund means dead okay so here you have to write 10 but uh, former also left so former means earlier so here you have to write 9 okay so this is how you have to revise these things uh, this is these are the most important word that keep coming in different government job exams so you must watch this video multiple times from beginning to end. Uh, this will be really very helpful to you. So uh, let us conclude the video tutorial. If you have liked, if you have found this useful, please like it, share it with your friends and do send us your comments so that I can know how do you like it. And if you are the first timer on this channel, please do join us by subscribing uh, to this channel. Uh, I hope uh, you will subscribe to it. And I assure you that you will keep getting such kind of good video tutorial for your success. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I wish you all the best for your bright future. Thank you.